Hi everyone, Kitch here from Soundflow. Uh, just thought I'd uh, put together a video for uh, someone who reached out in the uh, Facebook user group, uh, the Soundflow Facebook user group, uh, to ask a question about uh, creating a custom uh, deck for his Logic setup. So his, uh, his name is We Have a Ghost, uh, and he's saying, Logic Tutorials, I have a Stream Deck XL, and I'm trying to make a fully loaded deck with all features instead of the standard built-in one, and it's a bit overwhelming. Totally understand, it's easy to get overwhelmed with Soundflow. Soundflow's uh, set up to be really powerful, so it needs to be flexible, but uh, we're here to help, and uh, I'd love, love to walk you through this. Uh, so uh, let's head on over to Soundflow and see what we've got. So in Soundflow, we have the Logic Pro package. And in the Logic Pro package, we have some uh, uh, some folders here. And there's one that's called Decks. And then inside that, we've got the 5x3 Decks. So the 5x3 Decks uh, are basically set up uh, to work on your standard uh, 5x3 Stream Deck. And, but if you want to create your own um, uh, Stream Deck setup uh, where you're choosing the specific uh, commands that you want to run, it's super easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back to my demo package here and uh, we're going to create a new deck that we want to display the things that we want to display. Uh, so we go uh, click the plus button here, select deck, and I'll call this my logic. Pro uh, Excel deck and press OK. So then as you can see it comes up with the deck designer on the right hand side here and it's a 5x3 uh, deck uh, but we want that to be the size of a uh, Stream Deck Excel. So to do that we can go to the size property here and we'll select the uh, Stream Deck Excel that I have plugged in. If you don't, if that, if this doesn't appear, uh, make sure that you've gone through one of the videos in our Learning Soundflow playlist on setting up your Stream Deck, uh, um, which involves uh, going to set up Stream Deck from the uh, Soundflow icon up here and uh, setting it up so they're labeled um, as you need. So once that's done and you've got this this set up, uh, then uh, what we can do for the device here is we can target the device. Uh, so if we click the drop down menu here, so we can either target it by the uh, serial number or by the name. So using serial number is a more direct method. Uh, however, if you're moving to a, 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 another studio that maybe has a, 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 a stream deck of a different serial, uh, sometimes it can be good to use uh, by name in uh, so that it finds uh, whatever Stream Deck is connected with that specific name. So for this one, I'm just going to use by name, and uh, I'm going to use the uh, Kitsch uh, uh, Stream Deck XL. So now we've got this here. Uh, populating the Stream Deck is really easy. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to click the pin button here, and then we'll head down to the Soundflow package here, and as you can see, as I'm selecting uh, different folders or different commands, it actually keeps this locked in place so that we can easily drag the things that we want over onto that. So uh, here, let's let's have a look. Uh, what's some things that we would like to add? Um, let's say we want to load some plugins. So we've got the plugin loader here. So maybe we can uh, choose a, a few Dynamics plugins here. So let's uh, move the compressor to about there. And we'll put a, uh, let me see, maybe the Adaptive Limiter we'll put down here. And then we'll put maybe a Channel EQ here and a uh, Vintage Console EQ right here. And then maybe we want to add uh, some filters. Uh, oh no, something else, let me see. Modulation. We'll throw an ensemble thing there and maybe a tremolo here. So we've got those, those working. Uh, now let's uh, see, we've got 
uh, some track functions. Maybe we want a track function to uh, create a track. So maybe we want to create a micro line uh, line input. So let's let's put those up here. So that's that. So creating a micro line, and then maybe we want to create a uh, a software instrument as well, and a uh, let me see, maybe a drummer track, and session keyboard player. So we'll throw those up in there. So then, as you can see, it's quite easy. Uh, so once we're finished designing our deck, we can click the pin button and that will take us back to where the deck is located. Uh, so there's another way of doing this because we've named this My Logic Pro XL Deck. Say if you were looking through and you found something you wanted. So maybe you were looking at the uh, the edit uh, the edit menu here and you wanted a button to uh, to do something specific. Maybe we wanted to, um, let me see, let's find something here. So maybe we wanted uh, a, a button to uh, open in Smart Tempo Editor, just as, as an example. So we'd have to keep track of where that is, then head back to where the deck is uh, to then pin it and then re-add it, but there's a much easier way. We can click uh, the Add to Deck and then type in Logic Deck. And so we find My Logic Pro XL Deck and do that. Press OK and that will add it to the deck to the first position available. So that's another way of, uh, of doing things there. And there's also a, a third way of doing it. And if we select um, uh, where we want to add something, so say we decided we wanted to um, uh, add, uh, let me see, something to do with, um, let me see, I'll have a look, a quick look in here. So maybe we wanted to change some tools. So maybe we wanted, we wanted to have access to the join tool. Uh, so if I go back, we can use the back buttons as well to navigate to where we were. Uh, so if we wanted to add the join tool here, we could go to add existing command and then type in join and uh, join tool. If we see in here, we've got uh, the official Logic Pro package uh, and we go set edit tool join. Uh, I think this is uh, in here just because I'm on a, a testing account. Uh, so ignore that. So if I click on that, it adds the join tool there. Oh, actually, no, that's what it was. Uh, so if I go to the join tool here, um, uh, it was probably giving me the uh, the three options. So the left uh, con uh, the left uh, command and right click uh, tools. So as you can see, building uh, a deck like this is great. If you need to add another deck linked to this deck, that's also easy. So what we could do, so for example, maybe if we wanted to add um, a link to the color deck, so uh, you'll notice in the Logic Pro package under decks here, uh, we've got full decks. And if I go uh, track colors, we've got all of these colors here. But what we could do is we could create our own custom, uh, custom deck uh, that has the colors that we want. So if I come back to our deck here, uh, and let's just create a new deck and we'll call this uh, my Logic Pro color color deck. Uh, okay, so now we can pin that. And uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a back button. And also we want to reset the size of this. So we're going to go uh, Stream Deck XL. Uh, so it's going to be that that size. Now if we have this pinned. And we also have this set up to uh, show on the Stream Deck XL by, uh, by name. Uh, and then what we can do is head to the Logic Pro package. And then in the Logic Pro package uh, under Dex, let's actually unpin this first. And uh, we go to uh, Dex here. And there's a, uh, a command here that says navigate to previous deck. So if I select that, and I go add to deck, and I go um, my logic 
and Pro Color Deck, do that and press OK, then that's going to put a back button. So now what we want to do is we want to add this, this deck to our original deck. So it's easy to do that. We just simply drag this onto here and, uh, and we've got uh, our deck accessible from that. So now uh, if I was to come back to the uh, color deck, I could pin this deck and say I go to colors here and set colors and maybe I just drag uh, this one here, uh, this one here, this one here, this one here, and then maybe we grab some track colors, uh, oh, maybe from the second row or third row, whatever you'd like to do, and then we can grab some track colors. So maybe the second row is going to be those same colors, but as tracks. So I think I've got the right color. There we go. That's good. And maybe this, oops, maybe this one here, like that. So now we've got these colors. We've got clips and tracks. And uh, so now if I go back to the deck and I show this first deck on my stream deck, as you can see, now if I click the My uh, Logic Pro Color Deck, that's going to go to the Logic Pro Color Deck, and then I can hit the back button, and then that'll take me back to where the, where I want to be. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you've got any questions, I'll uh, add a link to uh, a forum thread where I'll we can continue the conversation here. And if uh, there's any other functionality that you'd like to see working, um, uh, or any other ways that you'd like to develop uh, the decks that you're creating, let me know because there are some more advanced ways of doing things. You can actually look in the Learning Soundflow playlist on YouTube, uh, and in there we've got uh, different ways to um, work with uh, Soundflow and Stream Decks. So uh, you can get some more information there. Um, thanks for listening, and uh, rock and roll. <laughs>